Are you wanting to build a long lasting romantic relationship, but you worry it's never going to work? Do you feel trapped in repetitive patterns in your relationships? And do you wonder why you keep attracting the wrong type of partner? There are three irrefutable and mandatory attachment truths that you need to know to unlock a lasting relationship. I was just starting to learn about attachment theory and just becoming a, a student in psychology when I met my wife. But these three rules worked and they have proven right time after time with both myself and my happy, loving marriage, but also all of my successful married clients that I've worked with over the years. And these three truths can work for you too. I am Adam Lane Smith, the attachment specialist, and I would love to shout out my regular members who support this channel. Thank you so much for your support. It means everything. And special welcome to all my new viewers. I'm glad you're here for this. You get to hear this personal story and what it means for you in your life so that you can build an incredible, fulfilling marriage if that's what you're looking for. I proposed to my wife in two weeks. We were married at 11 months. And now we're going to celebrate 15 years of marital bliss in just another month or two. We're also expecting our fifth child. All of that success comes down to attachment theory. Attachment is the way we connect other people to give and receive love, to share connection, to be open and honest with them or not. Now, these three transformative truths about attachment have underpinned my successful relationship. They set the foundation for my success by helping me be open with my wife and honest with her, by building compatibility from day one, by building trust, by building a foundation, and then being able to trust it during difficult times and resolving conflicts together, growing through the years together, building an incredible relationship, a business, a family, everything because those foundational pieces were there and they were locked in so they could weather the storms of life with us. Those pieces worked when nothing else has because they set the ultimate foundation we could rely on in the hardest moments. And that's why these three pieces will show you how to build a lasting romantic relationship for yourself. So if you want to get to 15 years and smile and be really truly fulfilled in your relationship, Follow these three things I'm about to teach you. Attachment truth number one. Your past patterns will define you until you change them. Our past experiences, they shape our relationship behaviors. Now, learned experiences from past behaviors and past experiences can sabotage new relationships. If you grew up thinking you would not be cared for and loved with attachment issues, you will not believe you will be cared for and loved in adult relationships. So you will endlessly try to not be abandoned or to keep distance between you and your partner or to manage their feelings or to give them space when you don't want to because you think that they're going to run away. Otherwise, you're going to do all kinds of things, but you're also going to keep your secrets and your needs locked inside. Now, the good news is that these patterns are not permanent. They can be unlearned. I recognized my own patterns as a young man. I was anxiously attached and approval seeking and with my friendships and my family. I tried to make other people happy because I was afraid there was something unwrong or something wrong with me. I had to fix that before I could really connect with my, meet my wife and connect with her fully. I had to not seek approval. I had to be confident and clear in myself. My patterns were to please other people by violating my own principles, and I had to fix that for good. Now, when I met my wife and talked with her, I could tell her what my values were, and I could show her in my life. And when we got into a discussion or a conflict, I could live to those, those principles and values during the conflict instead of falling apart into fear or people-pleasing or defending. I could be clear about what was and wasn't acceptable. And that was very attractive to her. She formed trust with me because during a conflict, I would still be honest. That made all the difference because then she could trust every word I said was the truth. But it took time for me as a young man growing into this to learn to trust that I could really tell the truth and it would make a difference. See, the transformative power of acquiring these new skills and approaches it helps you achieve a different, more desirable level in relationships so that you are fulfilled, so that you're enriched, so that people love your honesty and love you. 
not for what you do for them, but because of who you are. This worked for me and for my wife, but it worked for more than just the two of us. I had a client who came in who was always afraid of telling the truth. He thought it would reveal that he was a fraud. He ran a very successful company of his own, but he felt like a fraud in all of his dating relationships and that women would leave him. When he started being honest about who he was, even sometimes honest about his fears and insecurities, women started responding better to him. In fact, he filtered out women who were just there for his money, and he filtered in women who respected him for his honesty. This made all the difference in his life. Change your past behavior patterns so they do not define you anymore. Now, once you address your past patterns, it is crucial to understand our partner's true desires for us in relationships. So attachment number two, the world is full of misconceptions about desires. The common misconception is this. People desire perfection from you or constant entertainment. People want me to be perfect or they want me to always be interesting. People with attachment issues believe this. I believed this. The reality is that authenticity, reliability, predictability, trustworthiness, and companionship are the five things that people are looking for. I'll say them again. Authenticity reliability, predictability, trustworthiness, and companionship are the five things people want from you. They want you to be authentically who you are so that they know and see it. They want you to be reliable in your values and your goals and what you're looking for. That makes you predictable in a good way. And over time, that makes you consistent to your values and your goals. And you are self-policing to those so they don't have to police you or watch you. That makes you worthy of trust. And because you're trustworthy, they can trust you to be their companion for life. My revelation was recognizing that genuine desires from other people are often basic foundational values. This was the unlocking piece for me that my wife didn't want me to be interesting all the time or perfect in every way. She wanted me to be consistent and trustworthy so I could be her companion for life. That's what she was looking for. I had a female client who learned the same lesson. She thought she always had to be interesting. So every first date she went on, she made sure the other person had a good time in every way. And over time, she didn't like herself very much for this. But when she stopped and said, I will be me, fully me, and the good version of me, not the worst version, I'll show up as the best version of me, but I will trust that to be enough. When she started being authentic and reliable and predictable and worthy of trust, people, good people, loved her and wanted her for real companionship. And that was where she found real fulfillment with people who cared about her. This was my story. This was her story. We did not rush things. I didn't rush things with my wife. We didn't rush into the physical. We didn't rush into moving in together and, and signing our joint checking accounts together. Yes. At two weeks, I said, I want to marry you. I don't want anybody else to snatch you off the market. You are amazing. And I don't want anybody to take this chance away. So if you're open to it, can we test our relationship toward marriage? And she said, absolutely. At 11 months, we knew for sure before 11 months, we got married at 11 months to the day, 15 years together. And it's proven true, but we didn't rush all the other pieces. We compatibility tested first a lot. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. Because you need to compatibility test. That's attachment truth number three. You should slowly test for compatibility over time and hope for the best. Now, most people avoid asking difficult questions up front out of fear, out of a fear of not being interesting, out of fear of not being stimulating enough, out of fear of conflicts that can't be solved, out of fear of being abandoned, out of fear of being rejected, out of fear of just not feeling very good in those discussions. A lot of times they couldn't have those discussions with their parents. So why would they have them with strangers? But guys, if you don't compatibility test, it leads to seriously unsuitable matches. 
from my personal experience, I recognized the importance of gradual compatibility testing to prevent the Barbie breakup scenario of going to see the Barbie movie. You don't cry enough at the feminist speeches. So she breaks up with you on the car ride home. You've probably heard about this. I have a whole video on the channel about this, but I learned about the value of important compatibility testing right up front by asking the hard questions from day one. My wife did the same. We tested each other in a good way, not an exhausting way. It was fun having deeper conversations. We rose to the challenge and we enjoyed it. Now, the emphasis here that I want to put is on clear, direct, honest communication and the courage to ask the tough questions early on that everybody else avoids. Taking the time to understand and align with your partner's core values will bring reliability. It will bring predictability. It will bring trustworthiness. It will bring deep, intimate companionship that you can trust. Rushing into it clouds your judgment with bonding hormones and feel-good chemicals that make you not want to compatibility test in case you lose your source of those good feelings, which is why people stay in situationships for three years. So let me ask you, how have, you, have you ever overlooked potential red flags? That's not that big a deal. No, I don't want to raise the fuss. No, if I breathe that up, we might fight. No, the sex is pretty good. I don't want to mess it up. Only to face real serious heartbreak later. If so, it's time to change that. I had a client who learned this very important lesson. He was attracted to not just the wrong person, a disaster of a person who almost destroyed his life, who got pregnant, that he had to, comp he had to co-parent with, still co-parents with. Somebody he was so incompatible with, they can barely hold a conversation even about parenting now. And they have to use a data tracking app to prove every word that has been said. Don't rush into compatibility testing hoping it's just going to be okay because you may be in for a nightmare for the next 18 years. In my story, we compatibility tested slowly and carefully. We didn't rush into any of the big pieces that people usually do. We rushed into hard conversations first. So I recommend if you're going to rush into anything, rush into hard conversations. Now guys, attachment, good attachment is not just about forming connections. It's also about understanding the depth and the nuance that those connections bring and the possibilities. It's more than just these three truths. Let's talk about secure attachment for a minute. Secure attachment is that deep connection that fosters feelings of security, of understanding and mutual respect and trust, authenticity, companionship, all of the good things in life that bring you fulfillment. Once I recognized and I nurtured secure attachment in myself and in our relationship, it wasn't just about keeping sparks alive and trying to make people happy. It transformed into a roaring flame of a relationship that has kept us both warm through years and years of sometimes difficult times. Secure attachment keeps your relationship alive even when hard times come because you can have the hard talks. You have them up front and then you have them again when hard talks need to be had. When you have them up front, you know they won't run away. You know that you can build a sustainable relationship that you can trust. Trust is a word I keep using because trust is the cornerstone. It's not just about trusting your partner, but also trusting the strength of the bond that you have. That it's not based on them feeling good at the moment. It's not based on you looking perfect. It's not based on how interested they feel or stimulated. It's based on a lasting, authentic connection, shared values, shared goals, moving forward together. Communication is crucial for this, you guys. Consistent and open dialogue ensures misunderstandings are minimized and that both partners can feel heard. This you can't have a relationship without this. You have two people being miserable without this. Communication is not optional. Communication is mandatory. What else is mandatory for a thriving, loving relationship is mutual growth. And this can only come through secure attachment. Because as individuals change and evolve, 
We've got two different phones and two different and in the house with two different feeds that will convince you in different directions. You have to be able to talk and bring those together and say, here's what I'm learning about things. Here's what I'm learning. Here's here's 10 different facts from this news source that I've been reading. Here's 10 different facts. Let's have a reasonable discussion about political problems, about our peers, about the pressures in society, about anything, anything. As individuals change and evolve, guys, so too should the relationship. Secure attachment promotes this. It's joint evolution together so that you and the relationship grow into your best versions as a couple instead of growing apart and misunderstanding each other. So here's some steps to keep the connection alive. Number one, be aware of each other's needs and concerns. It's one of the biggest things that I want you to focus on in relationships early on and later on. Ask them what their needs and their concerns are early on and keep asking them about those things. Check in at least once a week. My wife and I try to check in at least every Friday night. Hey, how are you doing this week? How are things? How are you doing? We try to check in every night if we can, but especially we clear some time Friday nights. How are you doing? Are you concerned about anything? Anything you need some help with? Number two is to actively address those issues or needs that arise. Hey, there's a problem. Let's solve it together. How can we fix this? We built that compatibility testing very early on. We didn't get married until we had gone through some challenges together and proven that we would work together as a couple. Number three is to continuously find ways to strengthen and rejuvenate the bond. There's a bonding hormone I have five videos for on this channel called vasopressin. The research shows that couples who are vasopressin bonded stay together longer. Vasopressin is a bonding hormone that releases when you solve stress together by resolving conflicts, by facing challenges, by doing little things together that accomplish something as a team. Vasopressin is one of the best things to renew the bond and bring on a new honeymoon phase. Do it. Watch those videos. And number four, secure attachment. It's not a one-time achievement, you guys. It's a continual journey of understanding and growth and mutual respect. Be securely attached to each other. Stay securely attached to each other and you will have an amazing marriage and you'll get to 15 years and you'll be smiling as big as I am with a wonderful family and a partner you can trust. Now we started off talking about these three important attachment truths and this is a great way to start. And by recognizing the paramount role of secure attachment in your life that we've also talked about, you're not just setting the stage for a successful relationship but you're ensuring that it can thrive in the long haul. Those three attachment truths helped me build a foundation of a great relationship with my wife. They helped us build an immense loving family through the years, and they continue every single day to bring better surprises and more joy. This can be the same thing you experience, but you have to implement those three attachment truths like I did to build a secure foundation. Now, reality check. Navigating the waters of love and commitment, it's undeniably complex. But with a clear understanding of the truths that we have shared here today, you are taking a profound step towards not just a relationship, but one built on a solid foundation of mutual trust, of understanding, and of secure attachment. These aren't mere buzzwords or suggestions, you guys. They are the underpinnings of relationships that last. Relationships that bring joy, security, and really deep connection. So if you're passionate about building a bond that stands the test of time, about finding that companion with whom you can weather any storm, then it's essential to integrate these attachment truths into your life. Knowledge is empowering, but applying it effectively can be challenging. So for many, the journey is enriched and hastened with guidance. Now, guys, I love my life <laughs> and I love my wife and I love the life that we have built together. And I can love all of this because of the approach we took to build it. I was a man who was lost in my own attachment issues. I didn't know how to do any of these things at the start, but I built those pieces. I started with those three truths and it changed everything. And I built a loving relationship and I studied attachment theory and I built more and more and more. And now I can help 
thousands of couples to do the same. And this is where I can help. With years of personal experience and professional expertise, I can provide for you the coaching and support you need to navigate these truths, ensuring that you'll not only find the right partner, but build and maintain a lasting bond with them. I'm also happy to help couples if you guys are focused on improving the relationship as a team and setting the right foundation together. I am very selective on what couples I will work with because I do not want to waste your time or for you to waste my time with endless bickering if you don't want to solve the problem. But if you want to solve it, I will show you how. So reach out and together we can tailor these principles to your unique journey together as a couple to ensure that your love story is not just passionate, but enduring. So as we wrap up today, are you curious about the pitfalls and challenges of modern dating? Because the landscape has definitely changed and it's crucial to be equipped. So join me in the next video and I'll see you there called Sad Truths About Modern Dating. Trust me, you are not going to want to miss it.